on the last episode of Pretty and Paid. What's pop lock and dropping, honeys? In my last episode, I did some light decor for my room, took y'all with me while I did some shopping. I tried to do some clothing shopping, but girl, the stores were already closed. So I went ahead and went to the liquor store and spit me a little bag. I love the candles that I got from Bath and Body Works. I have dogs, so they smell so good. I tried to do me a little Modelo commercial. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into this episode. Yeah. This pussy got power. Stay in it for hours. Yeah, I get what I want. He don't tell me no. These bitches, they hate me. These niggas, they love me. You know what's crazy? All of my exes have hit me up. Well, they're not my exes because I've not been in a relationship. But all of my situationships have hit me up. That's how I know I was never the problem. That's how I know I was never the problem. Because how was I such a problem? But y'all all have came back. That's how I know. I know I wasn't the problem. I know I wasn't crazy. The men that I was dealing with at that time literally did not know what they want. They didn't want to be in a relationship, right? But they also did not want to be friends. My skin look real good. Sorry, girl, I got distracted. Um, they don't want to be in a relationship. But they also don't want to be friend zoned. They don't want to spend too much time with you but they also don't want to give you space. Um, too much space. They, it, it doesn't make sense. Like it's, at this point I realized men don't know, some men don't know what they want. And I'm not with that. I'm 28 years old. I know what I want and I don't have time to be playing games anymore. You know what I mean? We're grown. We know how to express ourselves or at least we should know how to express ourselves and show each other that we like each other. So if I have to play the guessing game with you, or you make me feel like I'm unappreciated, I'm not going to associate with you. Why would I do that to myself? I love myself enough. I don't need to give myself to somebody and start feeling unappreciated. I appreciate myself very much, if you can't tell by the way I live. Bitch, I got myself some motherfucking flowers, okay? Bitch. I appreciate myself. I gave myself my own flowers. Bitch. Okay. So, don't play with me. Play with you. What the, what young dog say? You know the words. Bitch. <laughs> don't play with me. Play with your what? You know the word. <laughs> Bitch. I'm feeling my buzz. Hold on, I'm gonna chug this too. Okay, I'm really joking. Let me stop being stupid and feed my dog and put these lights up. So I just got up for the day. Um, my flowers are looking a little like funky. They, they didn't bloom, they bloomed all the way, but of course they're gonna die probably soon. <laughs> and we're gonna have to get some new ones. But it was fun, like these were fun for sure. Um, but I'm actually about to make me some coffee. I need to wake up. Uh, so all those coffees that y'all see me, the coffee pots that I got from Amazon, I need to get some cute stuff from my cabinet because it's not cute in here and I'm not even gonna show y'all. Cause I don't really, do, I'm gonna show y'all, but, <laughs> but look, girl, what the fuck? I don't have nothing going on in here. This is like, oh, this is whenever I got my, when I was gaining weight, I have bought this stuff. Um, and then we got sugar and oatmeal packets. And then I put my coffee pods right here. I just kind of like lined them up. And then my, I got some kangaroo food for my dogs. Like kangaroo. Oh, ain't nobody drinking no blueberry shortcake, what? We'll just do some, some of this. Okay, some of this. Let's wash these dishes. <sighs> Girl, I always have stuff to do. Okay, 
but yeah, I'm gonna put these dishes up. I'm looking a little like I just woke up. Oh, that coffee smells really good. I would let y'all watch the coffee, but my coffee pot is kind of like it's a little dirty. Um, I need to wash it off. I want to get a matcha machine. I've been seeing um, a lot of YouTubers making their matchas at home. And it kind of made me want to start making some matchas because I heard it's better than coffee and it gives you the same amount of energy. And that's really why I drink coffee for energy in the morning or just, you know, just to wake you up. Um, I started drinking, drinking my coffee black and it honestly wakes me up more than when I used to put sh a lot of sugar and cream in it. So, and then you can taste the coffee too, but... I'm not going to do that with this one. I don't feel like drinking black coffee right now. And I know it's not good for your teeth. So that's also why I don't want to drink coffee anymore because it's not good for your teeth. But, um, it's cool. I'll figure, I'll figure it out, girl. I'll figure it out. I'm not going to throw these in the dishwasher. And get in the shower. Start. But yeah, and I think my homegirl wants to meet up later. So I'll probably meet up with her. I haven't been hanging out with anybody. I've really just been doing my own thing and being by myself and not associating with anybody. I've kind of cut everyone off. Not on no beef or nothing like that. Honestly, I just cut people off because... Um, I need to focus. I have things I need to focus on. Like, we've been outside with each other for a whole year. Like, y'all need to go y'all's own way, too, and go, you know, evolve in life. I think everybody has room to evolve, and we don't necessarily always have to evolve together. Sometimes you evolve best when you're by yourself because you actually get to analyze yourself. Um, and then also, the people that I were hanging out with, they weren't good friends. Like, they were not good friends. They talked too much about each other. So that whole little friend group that I started off with, that y'all saw me with, I don't hang out with any of them anymore. It's just weird. They're weird in their own sense. Like, they all talk about each other. We're going to get into that later. I'm not going to get into that too much right now. closet obviously and girl my closet is a little bit of a mess I'm proud of myself for finally investing in clothing because girl I used to not buy any clothes I know that sounds crazy as pretty as I am but I used to literally only spend money on inventory like when I got my first big check I started my business and that's all I would spend money on is inventory inventory I would never invest in myself all these clothes that you see that I have now, like literally just started accumulating towards the end of last year. And still, I don't even have much. Like, I got my boots and shoes over here. If you see my little me redo my closet and stuff, and like Halloween costumes up there, I need to get that shit situated. Shoes, you know, my um, old Mac, I need to get this stuff situated too. Um, some stuff I got from my guy. Um, blankets and old hair inventory my wigs I keep them clipped right here oh 
you could see them. They're right here. I keep my wigs clipped. Well, the when I used to wear black hair, I have a black wig, and I have some extensions left, and my red wig and my curly wig. I might dye this one a blonde, um, or streak it. And old blankets and girl, my clothes, my guys. Let me put this over here. Oh, the vacuum out the way. But yeah, his little stuff right there. And I'm gonna get into that too about me having a guy's stuff stored, like having my boo things stuff here at my crib. I want to get into that. I want to get into a few different topics in this blog. I want to get into two topics mainly. I want to get into cutting off that dead energy, cutting off those toxic friends in your life, like saying hasta la vista. I don't want to sit with y'all. Y'all definitely can't sit with me. And then also playing house. Like, have y'all ever played house with a guy before? I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Because um, I'm not a wife. And I'm not in a relationship. Hold on, girl. My nose is like dripping. But I don't mind. Like, I know it's crazy because before I would never. Like, we're not playing house. Sorry, my picture is like kind of slanted. I think my tack broke. Let me go get another one. Um. Well... We're not talking about that right now because I'm not dressed. And I want to talk about that when I get dressed up. So if you want to know how I feel about those two topics, like my <laughs> whatever. Girl, you better keep watching. But let me go ahead and get dressed and get sexy. You set my soul on fire. literally always want to get out at like five o'clock in the morning go get some food see my car is about to be on e and be like oh i can make it home but why do i not tell myself oh i can make it to the gas station to get some gas so i don't have to leave and last minute have to hurry up and make sure i make it to the gas station thankfully i do have a gas can in my trunk if i do run out of gas i don't know i'm gonna just like call an uber i guess and take me to the gas station and then bring me back home but that's not gonna happen. I'm definitely gonna make it. You need to go, cause I'm about to run out of gas. Like, there's like literally somebody behind you. Oh my goodness, people get on my motherfucking nerves. Is you finna go or not? Trust me, I got my strap on me. I ain't worried about nobody hopping out on me. I, I could make it to the gas station. I shouldn't even be that pressed. Like. I can't press nobody but myself. I can't be upset or have an attitude that I'm finna run out of gas because my ass didn't want to go get gas. <laughs> but girl, what time is it? It is 8.20 p.m. on a Saturday. Girl, I have not been outside. I've been inside. I feel bad for the girls that be are still outside and been outside all year and still outside. Like, it's time to retreat back, get back on the drawing board. It's a new year. We gotta be doing new stuff. We can't be doing the same stuff we was doing last year. You feel me? So girl, I am inside. I'm not talking to anybody. I think I've already told y'all that. It's no beef or nothing like that. It's literally just because I need, I don't wanna come back outside until I've upgraded. 
everything going on in my life. I'm not coming outside to do the same things we were just doing last year or be in the same position, in the same mind frame, none of that. I want everything to be different. I want change. I'm getting older, not younger. I'll be damned if I'm in my 20s. Go, I'm, I, look, what are you? Like, look at the road, please. Trust me, I'm not stopping for y'all. Like, what the lights whole ass green and y'all are crossing the street. Girl, I thought that was the police coming behind me because I was kind of speeding. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I'm inside tonight, of course. If my boo I want to step out, I'll step out with him. But I really don't even have any new clothes to wear. Um, I could probably find something to pull out. It's really packed downtown right now. So I'm guessing there's a lot going on, obviously. It's about to be summertime. The kids are about to be out of school. Oh Lord, oh Lord Jesus. But what time is it? I would grab a bottle, but I literally just bought $200 worth of liquor and it's all gone. So I'm actually not going to be buying liquor right now. I'm gonna just chill out and find me somewhere to eat and get drinks from, edit some footage, and just enjoy my time, you know, on, you know, on the DL. Because this summer, I'm outside, baby. But on some networking type stuff. I'm networking all summer. Every year is my year. But every year gotta be different. It gotta be epic. So I gotta get some epic stuff going. Like, every year it's a, it's a surprise. So this year I gotta see what's, what I can make happen. Um, especially with my business I'm gonna open here soon. But we're not gonna talk about them. What are y'all doing? Like, what is wrong with y'all? What are you, like, come on. Y'all gotta learn how to drive. Like, who gave you a driver's license? I don't even know why I got a driver's license. I didn't even pass the test. But I know how to drive better than y'all. Look at her, she's all pregnant. Oh, she looks so cute. She had on a pretty, elegant dress and her belly was all big and she was like, she had a light pink dress. Oh my God, let me hurry up and go. Oh, I am not parking by the police, y'all. The police is here. <clears throat> I'm not parking over there by them. I'm gonna park right here. I don't know if my car smells like herb. I don't have time. But that's one thing I can say. I do respect the Dallas police because they honestly do not care about anything stupid. Dallas police do not have time for bullshit. They have real crime out here to fight. So that's one thing I can say I respect about the Dallas police is they're really not gonna mess with you if you're not. You have to be doing some serious stuff for the Dallas police to like just mess with you like that. But girl, let me get me some gas. It looks hot outside. Like it's, I mean, not hot. Like it's like, it's, it's jumping. So I'm probably gonna like pop out, but no. I got to sit down. I got to stick to the plan and stay at home and sit down. I got this. I got this. did to me your body life speaks to me y'all i'm so happy like i'm really in a good good space in my life and not even just that like i know it sounds stupid but when you meet somebody that loves you properly that shit hit different like life hits different and trust me like i've loved myself for a very long time obviously um and god loves me and he's loved me for a long time and honestly god's love is what has got me through in life because sometimes loving yourself isn't enough sometimes you need that little extra love and not for motivation or nothing like that i motivate myself to get up i don't need motivation from nowhere from nobody to get up and do what I'm supposed to be doing in my life and make something of myself. I motivate myself. Nobody motivates me. I get up and do it because I got to. Even though some days I don't feel like it, I gotta get up and do it. Hold on, girl, because I don't want to over pump my gas. Um, but when what I basically what I was saying, when you're loved properly by somebody, 
it just hits different. Like, it puts you in a space where not where you, but it puts you in a space like, I don't really know how to describe it into words. I just feel like when you meet somebody that literally uplifts you and brings you peace, it just hit different. Like I can't even put it into words. I feel like whenever you experience that with somebody, you just experience it. But it's just such like, it's just so peaceful and I'm thankful that I finally met somebody that gives me that peace because usually you know when I date it's like it's not stressful but I'm not feeling appreciated and that's why all my exes are coming back you know because now they're appreciating me now that I'm gone now they see oh we out here realizing like it's girls with multiple kids multiple baby daddies don't got nothing going for themselves staying with their friends staying with their parents my age you feel me don't have a car to drive don't have no credit don't have a uh nothing really going for themselves and so they get out here in the world and they realize that and then they try to pedal back because they realize oh malijah was really that girl you feel me like she really got a good head on her shoulders but i don't want y'all back and not even just that, I ran into somebody else. So now y'all really can't come back because you know me, girl, I'm a cancer, I'm loyal. So once I meet somebody that captures my attention, it's over with for everyone. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna mess up a good thing for something that I've already had and it wasn't you feel me I didn't have to instruct this person how to treat me I didn't have to get on this person about how to treat me like there was this like we we know how to disagree with each other and talk about it like it's never been no it's never been no drama like of course other dramas but like um it's never been no like nothing that we can't talk about and I like that like, because, you know, some people are childish and when they get upset, whatever, they, they go quiet and they don't want to talk about it. They feel like cutting, like, they, they feel like not speaking about the situation is going to fix the situation. But it's like, that's not how things work. You can't, you know. And me personally, <clears throat> I don't know, but. <sighs> Girl, let me quit talking too much about it. But I just, I'm in, I'm in just such a peaceful place in my life. And I really like, I'm, I'm so thankful and grateful that, because I was really depressed, like not too long ago. Like, um, after I did that Raven Jackson suicide note video, I was really depressed. Cause like I was, I was dating and I was dealing with men who weren't appreciating me. And obviously I'm at the point in my life where I want to date. So it's like just disappointing me because it's like, why am I even doing this? Which is also why I started be, being a sugar baby again, because like it's, I'd much rather date older men who know what they want and just you know want to take me out treat me good help me advance in life not bring me no drama we do what we do we go our separate ways versus giving somebody my time and myself and then being played and not getting anything out of the situation but feeling unappreciated of course my heart's never broke you can't break my heart unless i love you and that's like something that's just not easily ex as sex accessible for me my love is not easily accessible so girl i'm i'm i'm, I'm fucking with it <laughs> i'm i'm really like i'm excited to see what is gonna come now that i'm in a good headspace this guy almost just got hit by a car. He did not see the car coming or what's going on with people? People really be on drugs out here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Am I, I'm totally going the wrong way. I'm, I was about to go on 75, but I gotta go up 35. Wait, let me see if this Taco Casa is open. I'm, fin I'm finna go to this Taco Casa because, um, They have margaritas to go. Oh yeah, they're still open till 10. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stop. And they have a Taco Casa. I thought they had a Taco Casa right here in Uptown. Oh, not Taco Casa, Taco Cabana. But yeah, they got a Taco Cabana right here in Uptown. And I'm finna hit them up. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Eesh. 
crazy huh oh wait it want me to go that way this way um, yeah girl and then i got y'all's love i got i love myself god love me i'm getting love from somewhere else and y'all love me like girl what more could i ask for oh wait i can't go that way there's a car right there Ooh, i thought that car was not gonna stop oh my goodness gracious so, i swear everybody's on drugs tonight see look and the homeless people gotta quit doing this to the downtown streets like but see this is why see i'm not gonna say nothing but look like i hate when i drive by my like my block and y'all they just destroying my block with trash like pick up at least the least y'all could do is pick up after yourselves like we take our time to come out here and give y'all our stuff that we don't want feed y'all all that the least y'all could do is at least just but see that's the thing i can't even blame them because downtown has literally taken the trashes why i don't know i should be on the downtown committee honestly Goodness gracious, I thought that baby was gonna hop out into the street. Grab y'all babies. What is wrong with people? Oh my goodness. But anyways, downtown Dallas has taken all the streets from downtown. So honestly, I can't even be mad at the homeless people because if y'all want these people to put the trash in the trash, y'all gotta have trash cans for, for, for them to put the trash in. So y'all would rather come and clean the streets of trash rather than having trash cans full of trash to just pick up and take? It makes no sense. When I first moved downtown, they had trash cans everywhere. Now they've literally taken all the trash cans. So you know what? Whatever. Do y'all thug thizzle. Make them bring the trash cans back out. Because I be hating when I have trash in my car and I literally have to pull over to the gas station to throw my trash out because I do not litter. Um, it's just so uncomfortable. Like how could, I don't even understand how people litter. Like how do you feel comfortable throwing an object out on the street? It doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't even feel comfortable doing that. But girl, my mind is all over the place. We jump from subject to subject to subject to subject. But I'm gonna get me a margarita. I'm not gonna get too much from Taco um, Cabana, honestly, because I am on a little bit of a diet, girl. My thing is clogged. What the fuck? Ooh, I'm sorry. I mean, it cuss. I'm working on my cursing. I've been doing really good. Oh, shit. Ooh, girl, I looked down at my thing and almost smacked in the back of them. Watch to keep your eyes on the road. But, y'all, I'm going to keep my eyes on the road and drive, even though I'm not looking at you, girl, but I am, but I'm not. But, honestly, this is cool. They don't have no lights on. I'm off the base, though. I'm off the base, though. No, for real. No, for real. I like the size of our car. Welcome to Taco Cabana. How can I help you? Um, yes. Can I get the three pack of the chicken flautas with the three. queso? Yes, ma'am. And then I also want to do two margaritas. I'm sorry? Two margaritas. What flavor? I want to do, uh, let's do watermelon and the blue one. We don't have any blue or green apple anymore. Okay, um, do the blood orange and watermelon. Okay, one blood orange, okay. No, no, okay. one blood orange and one dragon fruit. Okay, what blood orange and what the other one? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Mm-hmm. And that'll be it. Okay, I, I'm sorry, are you over 21? Yes, I am, I'm 28. Thank you, ma'am, you'll bring your ID with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm inside all weekend, girl. I know my dogs are, are, I know my dogs love that though. I know they probably missed me. I haven't, I, I love my dogs obviously, but I haven't been paying, um, I feel like I haven't been giving them the time and attention and that they need. But then again, I don't know, we're always together. <laughs> but I was outside for a while. Like, you know, I would stay in out late, not probably taking them out as much as I should have been and whatever. But I think they like the fact that mommy's home with them but they need to be without mommy sometimes they need to fend for themselves i leave my dogs sometimes if i go out of town if i'm only gonna be out of town for like a couple days i'll leave my dogs by themselves because they're literally grown they're grown-ups they're adults they're no they're not adults yet only omar is grown the other two are my little teenagers 
but they literally take care of each other, you know, and they have a big backyard with the food and the toys and the water. I leave the TV on. They got AC. They got lots of room to, you know, stretch and move around and I'll leave them for sure. Leave the camera on and talk to them. Even though I feel like when I talk to them through my intercom, they be ignoring me. Like they can hear me talking to them. They'll look and then just ignore me like, bitch, we know you're not here. So <laughs> it's jokes on you. So I stopped here at the Dollar Tree. I'm about to grab some snacks. I'm actually gonna have a movie night with my dogs. I don't know why it just popped in my head that I wanna make a pallet on the floor in the living room in front of the TV and watch a movie with my dogs and just lay on the floor with them and cuddle them and eat snacks and just enjoy each other's company because I'm gonna leave out of town tomorrow. So, I stopped here at the Dollar Tree because they have hella snacks, girl, for one dollar. You don't gotta get premium snacks and expensive ass snacks and stuff. I'm kind of mad I don't have my gun with me. I left it at the crib because I did not know I was gonna be outside like this. So, note to self and note to y'all, always bring your gun with you. In Texas, there's a stand your ground law. Girl, somebody try you, shoot in the air. As long as you don't shoot in the direction of any civilization, you won't get in trouble. So fire in the air, warning shot is fine. And then yeah. Hey honey. So I just got back in the crib. Hey mommy. What's up girl? So tonight is Saturday, I already told y'all that. I'm gonna spend it with my dogs and my baby. Girl, hold on, I have to pee. It's Saturday night. And I'm actually going to spend it with my dogs. I'm going to make a cute little pallet on the floor in front of the TV. And we're going to watch movies. I didn't get no pizza or anything like that. Because I'm kind of trying not to eat too much tonight. I just got me a whole bunch of snacks from the Dollar Tree. I mean, I didn't even take y'all with me inside the Dollar Tree. Because, girl, the Dollar Tree was nothing to show off. Like, girl, no. But, so, let me show you what that right. Some popcorn. There was this guy who you can tell had a... Um, a disability and I was looking for popcorn and he I had actually picked me out wet white cheddar popcorn but when I got to the cashiers she was like is this yours and I was like no and she was like but he brought it up here for you and I was like oh thank you so he had picked me out this popcorn so being nice to him um, I put my other popcorn back and I decided to take this popcorn with me so yeah we got popcorn for the movies brownies because you can't go wrong with brownies I see some wipes in there, so I went ahead and got me some wipes because, girl, after you pee, you should definitely wipe and then wipe. Okay. And then I just got a whole bunch of snacks. I got um, gummy candies. I got sour worm gummy candies. I got the long sour things that I have not had in forever. Girl, I've not had these in forever. I got some Twix. I got Mike and I. I don't really like these kind of Mike and Ikes, even though they're the originals, because it tastes like cardboard sometimes. So I'm hoping that these Mike and Ikes don't taste like cardboard. And then I got some Sour Patch, some Razanets. These are like classic snacks. Like these go back. These go way back. So that's really why I got these, because I just wanted to try them. I, mean, I don't eat these like that. Oh, and then for my dogs, I got peanut butter, because obviously... Um, they can't have chocolate. They can't have no just chocolate. I might give them, I'm gonna give them some popcorn. They can have popcorn and they can have peanut butter. So these are their snacks for tonight. And the rest, I'm not even gonna eat all this stuff because I don't even, like, my stomach will be messed up. But yeah, whatever. And then to drink, I got me some margarita. I love Gloria's margarita. This is my favorite. I really, really like this. The Gloria's, it's affordable, and girl, it gets the job done. 
Excuse my nails, girl. I know. I know. But I got that. And then I got some Modelo beer. Girl, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if Modelo one day was like, yo, girl. Let's do a little sponsorship. But I can't be doing that with them. I can't be showing them off because then they're not going to want to pay me for a sponsorship because I'm already showing their stuff off for free. But girl, did you know that the Modelo six pack of glass beer is like $12? And if you get the canned beer, it's $9. And I checked the ounces. They're both 12 ounces. So if you want to save money, just get the canned beer unless you really care about drinking your beer in glass. But if you really care about getting your, drinking your beer in glass, you could literally get the canned beer, come home and pour it in the glass for $2 cheaper. Don't thank me later. Yeah. Girl, salut. Taste is so good. And my dogs are gonna eat this up. They haven't had peanut butter in a long time. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a cute little sleepover. Yeah, it's wet. Bad. Let's get it going. I'm about, to ch I'm about to go ahead and change and then get our palette ready and get the movie going. We're gonna pick a nice movie. I wanna watch a newer movie, so yeah. I might see my guy tonight. He came over last night. Girl, I'm in love. Let me shut up. I'm gonna cut that out because I don't want to boost him up too much and make him think that like he's so special. Even though he is. <laughs> One, two, bam! Yo! Yo! Gonna be hard probably to find anywhere. You're gonna have to Google two piece marijuana fit. But yeah, it's cute for sure. Oh. It's a cute little two piece. Fits really nice. I like it. Okay. I personally don't like to spend my money. Why was that thingy? Girl, you see how I just had to tap the camera? I had to tap the camera because the face recognizer was not on my face. It was right here. So, who the f is right here? Well, I ain't scared of no ghosts because I believe in Jesus. So, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, whoever's standing right here, because why did it connect to right here? I don't know, but I ain't scared of you. <laughs> Got that out. I ain't scared of you. But anyways, what? Come on, square. I ain't no jumping. I ain't no jumping. I ain't no jumping. Okay. Better get distracted. Look at her face. She has genuine. Concern for me, and I fuck with it. I appreciate.
All right, y'all. So I just finished picking out. I mean, picking out. Girl, I just finished setting up our palette. They getting settled in. <laughs> I've actually never done this before, but I feel like it's gonna be super dope. I mean, not super dope. Look at Omar. She's like, Ma, super dope. Quit being lame. Why are you smiling? You happy? We're having movie night. <laughs> but yeah, so we about to have a movie night. I'm gonna turn the surround sound on. Oh shit. Let's press input by accident. I always press that and it messes up everything. See? I don't know why I always do this to my surround sound. I always mess my surround sound up and press input and then I can't figure out what input it is on. Got it. I figured it out actually very easily. So if y'all have any good movie recommendations, definitely drop them down below because girl, I don't know what we're about to watch. Um, personally, it's been really hard for me to find any movies that I'm interested in. I can't like literally not figure out what to click, but I'm actually gonna go because my friend added me to the HBO account and my other friend added me to the Hulu account and I have to pay for Netflix. But yo, if you like don't mind me being a part of your Netflix, like girl, drop your username and your password down below. And girl, if you wanna like help me save some money, and like add me to your Netflix account, like I'll totally like, we could be friends forever. You'll save me $15 a month. And yeah, it sounds like a good plan. But I'm gonna watch, let's see girl. Let's do HBO Hulu, HBO Hulu, HBO Hulu, HBO Hulu. Let's see, ready? I'm gonna close my eyes. Hulu it is, Hulu it is. I don't really like Hulu though. I can never find nothing to watch on Hulu. So let's go to movies. The categories. I can't see the category of the movie. The category is documentaries. So we're not doing documentaries. Let's do crime. Comedy, documentaries, drama, fantasy, horror, international, music, Latino, romance, sports, suspense, shorts. We're going to do horror. Horror sounds good because, I mean, who doesn't want to watch a good horror movie? Be scared. So... Sorry, I don't know what the what just happened there. Hold on tonight. 
cover. Get you to your clean and proper. Yeah, I'm a no weekend lover. You gon' let me on your mind forever. It's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.